Hey, hey, hey. A Tale of Bales and the Machines That Make Them by Christy McKaylee, illustrated by Joe Cepeda. On a cold and wintry day, I love to break out the bales of hay. The hay smells fresh like the summer sun, and I feed my horses one by one. Listen, and I'll tell you a tale of storing summer in a bale. Every June, when the grass turns green, our hayfield makes a pretty scene. When it's high enough, we mow. On cutting day, we are set to go. Mower blades slice through the grass. A new row falls with every pass. Stalks and stems are scattered round. The scent of new mown plants abounds. Next, we run the tether through to fluff the grass and to dry out the dew. Underneath the sun's bright rays, we feel the heat of the summer blaze. Mom calls out, let's take a break for switchel and a piece of cake. The hay must dry for several days beneath the summer sun's warm rays. Once it's had the chance to dry, we rake the windrows long and high. Bailing time, I hear mom shout. It's time to drive the baler out. Up and down the windrow trails, that baler rolls the hay into bales. We gather up the bales and then we store them in our barn again. This year's crop is stashed away and ready for a winter's day. Mower, tedder, baler, hay. We're haying on a summer day. Hay, hay, hay. The end.